this is a vlog update. It's my mom's birthday. Yay, happy birthday, my mom. She's old. How old? I don't know. Like, 60s or something like that. 59, 60? I don't know, something like that. Maybe not that old. Any which way, you probably know how old your mama is. Take it from me. When you're doing it on a camera trying to figure it out, you look like a fool. However, um, I don't know if it's that happy of a birthday, you know? Uh, I left Ezra's stream because, uh, I said, uh, my sister is all kind of bonkers, you know? And, um, we had, my dad had to go get her because she's all drinking and crazy. And picked her up and brought her home. And she went ballistic on everybody. Started yelling and screaming. Grabbing shit, throwing shit. Picked my computer up, threw it down. Uh, started yelling. It was horrible, man. It was, it was the worst. And, um, they had to call the cops on her, you know? And so she went to the drunk tank or whatnot. And today they went and picked her up. Um, I used to do these vlogs about my home situation because uh, it's pretty hectic, you know? And um, I really do want the best for her. But what is the best? You know, I don't know. It was easy for me, you know, to take me and put me in a mental hospital and then, you know, a couple of days later or whatnot, you know, I'm all right. But this is a, a heavy-duty situation we're talking about, you know. She's got a lot of issues. I recorded some of the stuff that went on last night. I ain't going to post it. I've done that before. This, uh... This is a uh, real bad, and uh, I really don't know what to do about it. You know, I'm at my wits' end. My family's at their wits' end. You know, what are we going to do? Not much we can do. You know. Um. I I don't know. It, that's pretty depressing. Happy birthday, Mom. Yay. Sorry your uh, your kids turned out to be such fuck-ups. I include myself in the situation because, Lord knows, I I'm not the sanest apple in the bunch, you know? The sanest banana in the bunch? Doesn't matter about that. The fact of the matter is, uh, you know, I've done the N.A. thing, you know, I, I, and I've done the mental health thing, and I know my problems and my stressors, but... She hasn't done that or committed to do that to fix the deep emotional problems that she has, you know? And, um, there, there's not, it's, it's, she's going to do something, you know, that somebody ain't going to be able to bail her out of, you know? And, I don't want to be there when that happens. Is this virtue signaling? Nah. I'm no better than anybody else, but I face my problems and I know what to do about them as far as that's concerned, you know? But when you don't think you have a problem and everybody's telling you you got a problem, is every pro every everybody else's fault but your own? You're not self-reflecting. You're not taking any responsibility of what's going on. Yeah. I guess you keep doing the same thing, expecting different results. You're gonna get the same shit, man. Well. I'm going to go to Mr. God about it.
and that's how that goes. Hopefully that entertained Mr. God. Uh. Luke 10. After this, the Lord appointed 70 others and sent them ahead of him in pairs to every town and place where he himself intended to go. He said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore, ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Go on your way. See, I am sending you out like lambs into the midst of wolves. Carry no purse, no bag, no sandals, and greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this house. And if anyone is there who shares in peace, your peace will rest on that person. But if not, it will return you. Remain in the same house, eating and drinking whatever they provide, for the laborer deserves to be paid. Do not move about from house to house. Whenever you enter a town and its people welcome you, eat what is set before you, cure the sick who are there, and say to them, The kingdom of God has come near to you. What that means to me is, uh, you know, do the best you can and go heal the people you can heal and help others. I think that's what Jesus would say about it. Anywho, that's just been a vlog update. Hope you're having a great day. Jesus loves you.